Hey guys, it's Mrs. Lanfear, and in this video we are going to look at the Turn Your Essay Into a Website assignment. And for that, I clicked on the link here to access the instructions, and here they are. So for this assignment, we are going to have to open our old Webmaster Roles essay that we wrote back in Unit 2. So we're going to need to use that um, document that we created in Notepad. So again, if you didn't create that in Notepad, um, you're going to be using Notepad now. So uh, make sure you are using Notepad. And so it says to open our webma Webmaster Role essay, make sure it's in Notepad. And we're going to save as from the file menu and change the file extension from text to HTML. So in my uh, web design folder, to get into the correct folder here. So in my portfolio folder in unit two, I have my webmaster roles essay. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up in notepad. And the instructions said to save um, the file extension from txt to an HTML. So I'm gonna open this up, file, save as, and I'm going to put this in my Unit 3 folder now as a .html. Great. Using internal CSS, set the properties for the page background, title, body text, and citation where you found the information. So um, we are going to change all of those properties so that and then apply them to um, our webmaster role essay and turn this into a web page. So we learned about inter internal CSS in unit four, the unit we're currently in, starting on page 12. And on page 12 is where you first access the CSS code and played with it a little um, throughout this section. So I'm actually going to pull that code back up and instead of Again, reinventing the wheel, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this information. I'm actually going to copy just to just the first heading portion. Copy that over into my webmaster role notepad. We need, you know we need to start this um, website off with calling it, we're starting a web page, we're starting our heading, Here's, here's everything that's going to go into our heading, and in addition to that, creating these CSS styles. So I have that code pasted into my notepad to get me started. And again, in the instructions, they said to, I'm going to have to format the page background color, the title, body text, and citation text. So let's start with the page background color. So this is a style for my paragraph um, text. So I'm going to mess with that later. That's what um, I, again, I copied from the code that your, your text gave you. But let's start first with getting that background color established. So we're going to call this style BG color. And don't forget when you have these styles, you need to use the selector key that you learned about in the last unit or earlier in this unit to kind of get it started and you're telling the the website right now that you are creating a new style and it's called BD color and for background color so let's say I can't remember exactly how I set this up um, I set up the CSS code for my background color so what I'm gonna do if you remember in your invitation assignment you actually um, created background color for that assignment so to kind of help myself out, I'm going to go back and open that invitation assignment. I'm going to open up that code. So I can go ahead and copy and paste um, a lot of the different code in here and paste it into my Webmaster Role website. Because again, I don't expect you guys to memorize all this code, but you already have it in one spot. So you can just grab it and paste it into your new web page. So this is my code to start my background color. And in order to set my background color, I'm going to have to choose a color from our color 
chart that you should have saved. And where did I save mine at? Let's see. Here it is. This is that chart of colors that I told you to save in the last uh, unit, the PDF that the text gives you. So if you don't have that saved, you're going to have to go back and get that um, so you can access these color codes. So again, this is going to be the background color for our Webmaster Roles web page. So we don't want anything too distracting. You learn more about colors and um, matching colors, making it look nice in this last unit. So you want to make sure you don't have too distracting of a background color, but yet something to kind of liven it up a little bit. I think I'm going to go with kind of just this nice off-white color. So I'm going to copy that code go back into my Webmaster Roles notepad and replace the color they have with that off-white color that I just found. Okay, so then that's, that's my background color. I have that style set up, so I'm good to go there. The next in the instructions, it says to create a style for our title. And you'll notice back in our invitation um, code, here's a style called title text. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that code and paste it over here in my webmaster roles and kind of make some alterations here. So in my title text, right now I have it set up to use Verdana font, 30 point bold, and whatever color this is. So let's go ahead and you can change this. Maybe you want to try Arial, maybe you want to try um, Comic Sans. There are those browser safe fonts that you learned about in this unit. So you can kind of play with those. Go ahead and leave it bold and let's see. Now I want to find a good color. I think this midnight blue on my off-white background will look nice. Let me go ahead and use that. Okay, so I have my title text set up, my title text style. Okay, my paragraph style. Um, so far, they had it set up as green, font weight, bold, 12 point. I'm going to want to go ahead and apply um, a font style to it, or a font family. I'm going to grab this code and paste it there. And since I have Arial for my title, maybe I'll choose um, Verdana for my paragraph style. And let me go find a different color then. So my title is navy, my background is kind of this off-white. Let's find a good color then for my text. Something that's easy to read, the start gray maybe will work. I can always go in and kind of adjust these once I get it all put together and see what it looks like. Um, so just keep that in mind. And maybe instead of bold, maybe I just want it uh, normal text. So instead of bold, I'm going to go ahead and say normal. And let's put this up maybe to 14 point, just to make sure it's big enough and easy to read um, on our web page. Okay, so again, going back to our instructions, I changed the background color, the title text, the paragraph text, and now I still need to set up my citation text. So I'm going to go back to my invitation, because I remember I had citations used on there as well. So I'm going to copy the code for my citation, paste it here take that extra space out and I think I'll leave it courier new I kind of like that for my citations um, I'll make this just a little bit smaller and I'll also put this as normal and color I think I will match my citation color to my title text color just to kind of keep I don't want too many crazy colors on your web page as you learned about in this unit so keep that in mind all right, so now we have all these different styles set up. We have our background color style, our um, title text style, paragraph style, and citation text style. So these are the names of our styles. 
and these are the properties of each of those styles. So now we have to apply those different styles to where we want them in our web page. So first we're going to apply our background style. So underneath, so you'll see I closed my heading. This was all part of my the heading of my web page, which we learned earlier that the heading kind of just includes all the information that the web page needs to refer to. So as far as fonts, colors, sizes, that refers to the heading. Now everything underneath the heading that we're going to put in the body of the web page, that's where what actually shows up on the web page that the viewer sees. So I'm going to go back to, I can't, let's say I can't really remember how to set up this body code. If we go back to our invitation assignment, you can find here's the end of the heading at our invitation assignment and you'll notice when they start their body here is the code to apply their style background color so I'm just going to copy this line of code go to where I started my body of my webmaster role page and paste it there so right now in this code I am telling the web page Okay, we're starting the body of the web page, and for the body of the web page, I want you to go and grab the BG color style. So it's going to go up to my heading and say, okay, BG color, she wants this particular color, so we're going to apply that color to the page. So maybe let's go ahead and save this and see where we're at so far. But before we do that, we're missing a couple things at to tell the web page that we're ending it. So, because you'll notice we started our HTML up here, now we have to end it down at the bottom. So actually we should just be able to, for now, do the closing tag to tell our web page that we're finished. So let's save that and see what that looks like. Actually make sure that we're saving it as I think I wanted this in unit three, webmaster roles.html, save. Okay, then I'll go in and open that up. And there we go. So again, so far all we've done is applied the background color. Okay, that's all we've done so far. So we still have to organize all of this mess with the rest of our code. But as you can see in our code, so far all we've done in our body is apply the background color and, and it's just displaying the text that we have there. So now we need to kind of go through again and apply the different styles to the different parts of our text. Okay, so next we're gonna want to apply our title text style to the title of our web page. So I'm going to go back into our um, text here. I'm on page 12 of the accessibility and design section. And if I open up this CSS code, this shows me where they set up their CSS and then how they applied it down below. So you'll notice in order to apply the style to our text, we have this code here, p span class equals and then the name of our style in parentheses and then we end that style or that application of the style. So I'm going to copy this pspan class code and paste it in front of my webmaster roles title. Only obviously I don't want to use the style name paragraph because that would grab the properties of this paragraph style. I want to put in the title text. I'm going to copy the name of the title text and paste it in there. Make sure you have these parentheses otherwise it won't work. So I grab that title text style and I'm going to apply it to webmaster roles and then I'm going to tell it to end that, um, that paragraph of that the style of that paragraph. So by putting that close tag. So I have pspan class equals the name of my style, what I'm applying it to, and then I tell it to end. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I save my notepad. 
if I go back in and open it, so now you see that it applied my style to the title. Okay, so let's say maybe I want um, maybe I want this to be centered and not off to the left. I want to center my title. What I can do is actually go back into my code and under that style I can go ahead and add fact that I want text align center semicolon. Okay, so that tells it now, okay, whenever I apply this title text style, now it's going to center whatever text I apply that to. So let's save that, open it back up, and see if that worked. Bingo. Centered my title on the page. Okay, let's go back to our code. So I have my title text style applied to the title. Now I need to apply my paragraph style to my paragraphs. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and copy, again, this code to kind of kick off the style. And instead of title text, I'm going to paste it right in front of where I want it to begin. I'm going to change, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to change the name because now I want to apply my paragraph style. I want to apply that style to all of my paragraphs to the very end. So I'm going to go to the very end of my paragraphs and put in that close style pad. So let's see what that looks like. There you go. So you'll see that it applied that gray color and the Verdana font and the size to my paragraphs. But you'll notice I don't want all my paragraphs bunched together into one big paragraph. So we actually have to go into our code and tell it, even though I have it spaced out in my code, we have to go in and tell it where we want to have some some breaks, some line breaks in our text. So the code for line breaks is actually, we're going to start a new tag, forward slash br and tag, and that's the code for a line break. So that's like telling the website to hit return. So I want to have a return there at the end of my paragraph. And then I also want to return at the end of this paragraph and at the end of this paragraph. So let's go ahead and save that and see what that looks like. So you'll notice that it returned at the end of each of my paragraphs, but I actually want even one more space in between to separate those paragraphs. I'm going to go back in and insert after that break, line break, I'm going to insert one more line break in between each of my paragraphs. Save that, open it up, much better, much more organized, much more easier to read for the viewer. Okay. So we've applied, let's pull up our instructions and see where we're at. We've applied our background color, the title text, the body text to our paragraphs. Now all we have left is to apply our citation text. So let's go back into our code. And I'm going to copy this code again and apply it to or paste it down to where my citations begin. And instead of paragraph, I'm going to go up and copy the name of my cite text style and paste it in there. And again, I have to tell it when to end, so I want it to end after the last citation. And again, I'm going to copy these line breaks and put them in between my um, citations, because you'll notice right now they're all on one line, so I want to tell the website to return so that they're on separate lines. All right, let's see what that looks like. And there we go. So I have my title, I have my paragraphs, and I have my citation. I have different styles applied to each, I have background color applied, and we should be good to go. Let's double check our instructions here. Make sure we've got everything. So we use internal CSS to set the properties of the page background, the title, the body text, and the citations. Save your file under Unit 3 folder as CSS 
assignment.html. So I'm going to go in and make sure I have this saved correctly. Save as. Uh, unit 3, CSS assignment.html. Save. Alright, since the assignment only contains one file, you do not have to zip it. You can just attach that HTML file. So when you go to submit this, you'll just want to attach this HTML file. You don't need to zip the, the Unit 3 folder because everything's already in this one file. We're not grabbing images from another spot. We're not grabbing external CSS. Everything's already in this one file. So you should be good to go. Um, double check you have everything. Make sure for all of these assignments that you are downloading the assignment rubric because this is what I use in order to grade your assignment. So this is what I'm looking for. Make sure you have at least those two sources for citation. It's written in notepad, no spelling, grammar issues. Um, you made those changes in CSS. You applied your style looks good. All colors look good together. Proper contrast, easy to read and that you've submitted the file correctly. So make sure you've completed all those things on the rubric before submitting this file. And one last thing I noticed that I wanted to fix. So you'll see on my tab up here it still says CSS example um, back when I first copied the code. So I'm going to change that and we're going to call this Webmaster Roles. And let's make sure that took. There we go. So now when I open that tab, we can close all these other ones. So now you'll see Webmaster Roles appears at the top of that tab. And so now we should be good to go.